a complete hot mess, but good morning. It's today. So we have these, we have a couple different ceiling fan types in our house. We have the same one in our living room that we have on our back porch. Those remotes are interchangeable. Does not matter which remote you use, as long as you're pointing it at the fan, you're good to go. Ceiling fans that we have in, oh, and we have a completely different ceiling fan in our bedroom, like totally different remote. We have the same kind of ceiling fan in our office, game room, Roman's room, and Ezra's room. Those remotes are not interchangeable, okay? Ezra is so tall, he can reach up and grab them off the wall, so we've started putting them in drawers. Well, I walk in, Ezra's light is on in his room, and the only way to turn it off is the remote, which is kind of a weird fault about it. Well, I can't freaking find the remote in any of his drawers. So I go grab one from the office, I'm like, let me just try. It doesn't turn Ezra's light off. But you bet your bottom dollar that Roman, who's asleep across the hall, it turns his light on. So at that interrupt interrupted his nap and I just was like, this cannot be happening. Couldn't get it. Finally found all of the freaking remotes. Got all the lights turned off. Roman woke up. Ezra went down. <sighs> like, what the heck? So I think it's called Fanimation. That might be the one that's in our living room. Don't get those if you have to have one remote per fan and you can't like walk around and use them for multiple fans. Cause it is like beyond frustrating, especially cause they're all exactly the same and I need to just label them. But at the same time, they've been staying in drawers as or just must've found it in a drawer. So he knew where to look for it. But anyway, why are you pulling out mommy's oatmeal? Dad, mommy. Look at this kid. Pulling out mommy's oatmeal. I absolutely love this stuff. There's, I, I think I should mention this in the last vlog, there is no kind of anything that Kodiak cakes or Kodiak makes that I don't like. There's nothing. I mean, they can do no wrong in my opinion. All of the flavors are good. The pancakes, the muffins, the the oatmeal, the, the they have these like pancake cups that are like that. I mean, there's nothing that they do that's bad. So let's see. Add water or milk until oatmeal is covered, then stir well. One third a cup of water. Okay. It's just, they do it all so good. And let's see. We've got 14 grams of protein, 36 carbs, and five grams of fat. So it's pretty good if you ask me. Might want a little bit more water. I have not done my greens today. I've been so bad about doing them lately until like the middle of the day. And I think it's just because that's when I go to take my trim. It's fine, as long as you get them in. Like I'm sure getting them on an empty stomach is better, but as long as you get them in, that's how I see it. Look how good they look. Yum. It's chocolate. This is the chocolate chip, and they are 14 grams of protein. I'll link them below. You can get them at a few different places. I don't think you can get them at like Walmart. I might be wrong about that. I usually, if they do have them at mine, they're out of stock, um, but so good. So I was like so excited for Walmart Plus, y'all know. Well, the guy came. And like, essentially gave us like two orders. It was a whole bunch of stuff that we didn't order. And it was not, it's not things that we can like use in our life. I mean, we'll find a way I'm sure, but like I ordered like rotisserie chicken and like market salad and fresh fruit. And the other order we got was like milk chocolate chips for two liters. Um, Doritos muffins, <laughs> 10 pound bag of sugar. I was like, this is just not what we usually eat. So he was like, you can call Walmart. Like the guy was just like, you know, I know I'm not delivering anything else. He was like, this is what was put in my car. So you can call Walmart. So yeah, we got two orders essentially, but I wanted to make my protein ice cream. We're going to try good sign. I I'm finicky about vanilla. I get really weird about it. If it's too vanilla tasting, like too sweet, I can't, I can't do it. We're gonna try like a cookie and cream, cookie, vanilla, something. I don't quite know what to do it, but I got. So let's, let's just go ahead and we'll start with the, I don't know what I'm trying to say. We'll start out with this part first. I made a little less this time. So instead of doing a cup and a half of Fair Life, two scoops of protein powder. I did just one cup of the milk. Um, I did kind of accidentally store it sideways. 
And then I just did one scoop of protein powder. Light ice cream. Again, you kind of got to trust the process here. It's supposed to look very like, dusty. Pour just a little bit of milk and actually I'm going to pour a little bit more. Get to be really creamy. And then I'm going to take the Oreo Thins. We're going to do a few of these. I don't think you're supposed to trying this recipe out. I don't know if it's going to be any good, but this time put it in, do full light ice cream. Ice cream. <laughs> Hopefully something works in my, that looks like absolute perfection. Holy, look at that you guys. Oh my gosh, I hope it's as good as it looks. Dang. All right. Cheers. That's a win. That is a win if I have ever seen one. Oh my gosh. That's good. I think it's 28 or 30 grams of protein, so still a lot. But I also ordered some of these. They're like three bucks on Amazon. <clears throat> and the reason I get them on Amazon is because I don't have to go in the store and hope that they're there. Like, I literally, I'll never forget it in my life. A girl complained to me after a Walmart haul years ago. She was like, I had to drive to three Walmarts and I could not find this anywhere. I'm so disappointed that you shared it when it's clearly out of stock. And I was like, I would never drive to three separate places for something. And I looked online and I was like, it's in stock online. Just order it online. And it always, always, always happens that when I'm at Target, the brow pencil that I want in taupe is out of stock. I used to use blonde, but once I use that brow darkening stuff that also like thickens up your brows, it is just too, my brows are now too dark for it. So I get taupe, which is the color I used to use in. I love it, it's the perfect color, but it's apparently like the most popular color or one they just never have in stock because my Target doesn't have it. So anyway, I'm going to go enjoy my Ninja Creamy ice cream. I will leave the recipe and the link to this bad boy in the description bar and comment section. Again, you don't need the full like deluxe 11 in one. I think you can just get the seven in one. Um, as long as it has the light ice cream setting, you are good to go. See you on the next one.